Welcome back. I'm assuming you've la the last video you watched was the inbound route uh, in terms of setting it up and creating an alias for sensitive data. So just to refresh, if you send that to the inbound route, you should get an alias for the account number. Just to summarize, account number is being redacted on the inbound. So let's go ahead and do the outbound. If you go to the wizard under the start integration, what it's going to do is create a temporary, it's going to create a filter with a wildcard that's basically going to allow you to send a request. In this case, you'll see this, this part right here, this line is sending the, the payload through the VGS proxy, and you're expecting to send it to the endpoint here. So this would actually be Stripe or CyberSource or Adyen, whatever the third-party API is, you would specify that endpoint and the alias that you want to rehydrate. So if we go back to Postman, I'm going to send a transaction. Uh, before I do that, in order for this to actually work, I need to enable, under Postman preferences, I actually enable the proxy. So enable custom proxy. So the access credentials are set up and it'll route through VGS revealing the alias as it goes through the third-party API. Okay. So if I send it again, it'll go through. Obviously, it's not the actual alias, but if we click and refresh the logs, you see that it's actually going through. I'm going to go ahead and secure this payload. So since this is going through the outbound, I want to reveal the account number. So I'm going to secure it. And the only difference is, so this, this would be Adyen, Stripe, CyberSource, whatever the third-party API is, that would be the, the endpoint at the top. And then specify the path, whether it's auth or sale. You need to specify the path that you're going to for that particular API. And then just like before, on request, reveal, in this case, account number. All right, so save that. All right, so if we go back to the routes, you'll see this is the wildcard character. So this allows the transaction to actually go through. Since we don't need that anymore, we can remove it. And you'll see this is revealing the account number. So if we go back to Postman, and we put the real alias in there and submit it again to the outbound as it proxies through your VGS vault uh, through the outbound route it's going to reveal that account number and you're done so now that you're done with the outbound you will want to secure your data using VGS Collect or our SDK. So definitely watch the next video, and then the last video will go through an actual full example from start to finish.